Welcome. Today we will learn how we can install Daucot and SendMail on a Linux machine. By doing so, we will convert this CentOS 8 into a Linux mail server. Before we begin, as always, we will run the uh, yum updates and we will disable all the firewalls and SC Linux. If you want to know how you can uh, disable firewall and SC Linux, there's another video that I have posted already on YouTube. Uh, you can go and check it out. So I'm gonna just fast forward this part. Once the firewalls are down and the XC Linux is disabled, you need to make sure that there are no other programs or packages that may interfere with your SendMail or Daucot. So if you have any other uh, mail services running on your Linux machine, make sure those packages are removed, uh, such as the postfix, so that it will not create a conflict once we start installing uh, Daucot and SendMail. So assuming there are no packages that is interfering and you haven't installed any other mail program, we can go ahead and start installing uh, the software packages that needed to run the mail server in this CentOS machine. Before we start installing packages for our Linux mail server, let's look at what we are actually installing. We are installing two packages, Daucot and SendMail. SendMail is a MTA or mail transfer agent. MTA is a part of the mail delivery system and it is an application that receives mail. It will find through name servers and DNS and MX records of the recipient domain in order to understand where this mail needs to be transferred. So it is basically using SMTP to transfer mail to one MTA with the same SMTP relaying protocols. In this demonstration, the send mail is the MTA. Daucot is a MDA. MDA stands for Mail Delivery Agent. It is another component in the mail service. It receives mail from servers MTA and store it into a mailbox. MDA attach the mail from MTA, in this case, the send mail, to a specific mailboxes within the user's folders. In other words, it is a delivery agent that takes messages from one system and place it in the user's mailboxes. In this demonstration, MDA is the Daucot. So just to recap, MTA or the mail transfer agent is SendMail. MDA or the mail delivery agent is the Daucot. To install SendMail, uh, we will go yum install SendMail. Right, and press enter. Then we will install Daucot. To install Daucot, you will go yum install Daucot. Now we have installed SendMail and Daucot and there are packages that are currently running in the background. Now we need to make sure that this server has a static IP address so the IP won't change over time. Typically, these type of machines such as mail servers, web servers, and anything that is running server component should have static IP addresses. So first thing I'm gonna do is to I'm going to go into the um, network editor and I'm going to change this into a static IP address. In my case, I'm just going to give you 192.168.1.5 255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.
1.3, which is uh, my uh, Windows server, which will be running the DNS. And then I'm gonna change the DNS to 192.168.1.3. And then I'm gonna make sure this particular server is in the same network segment as my Windows server, which is 192.168.1.3. And then click apply, it's done. And uh, so let's make sure this one is in the same network. Settings. I just simply put it into the same network as my Windows Server running right here. So now the IP address has been set and it is pointing back to the Windows Server. If I go if config, it should have that static IP address that I set and it should be pointing back uh, the DNS into the our DNS server, which is located on our Windows server. I'll be using my Windows server from my previous videos with the domain promoted uh, for our DNS. However, you do not need to use a, a Windows server, nor you actually need a domain promoted server. In fact, uh, my CentOS machine is actually not connected to this domain. Only thing you need in here is the DNS records, which uh, we, uh, the DNS uh, service, which we need in order for uh, set up the DAO card and send mail to go in and out, uh, the send mail in and out of the system. So as I said again, I'm gonna repeat that again. You do not need a Windows server with a domain controller installed and domain promoted. You just need a DNS manager to handle the uh, mail DNS record. But for this particular video, I'm simply gonna use my uh, Windows server from my previous videos just to add the DNS records uh, for our mail service. So since I'm using the Windows server uh, to um, administer my DNS record for my mail service, uh, I'm gonna ping this uh, server 192.168.1.3 uh, from our Linux machine. Now I have make sure that I have set it up the uh, the wired settings uh, with the DNS point uh, pointing back to the 192.168.1.3 and also the uh, default gateway pointing to that 192.168.1.3 and both my Linux server and the Windows Server in the same network. So let's simply see if we can ping it. And there you go, it can ping. And I'm gonna go back to my DNS uh, uh, service uh, install uh, Windows Server. And I'm gonna see if I can ping back the uh, Linux uh, mail service actually the mail server. There you go. So now it has connectivity, so which is good. So we'll go back to our Linux and then uh, we will do more configuration in Linux uh, right now. Because we will be using the DNS uh, for communication between different components in this mail service, we need to make sure that we have a good host name on your Linux mail server. So to change your host name, uh, we're gonna go host name CTL and set host name. And I'm gonna name my host uh, name as mail.sanuja.local. Sanuja.local is my domain. I'm just gonna use the same one. And I'm gonna press enter. And that should have changed our host name and we can check that by typing hostname and press enter it should return mail.sanuja.local the next thing we're going to do we're going to update our 
host file. To do that, we will go nano etc host and it should open uh, your host file. Uh, I don't use IPv6, so I'm going to simply delete that out, but it's up to you. You can either keep it or you can, uh, you know, enter a new line or you can simply delete it just like I did. And I'm going to enter the IP address of this Linux server. So it's going to be 192.168.1.5 and I'm going to point it to mail.sanuja.local. And I will also add mail. Uh, that's another uh, way that it, this machine will respond. So make sure this is your IP address for your Linux server. In my case, it's 192.168.1.5. And then save it. And now uh, you have that pointing back to add it. And on your host files, uh, also, uh, you will see that you have two uh, records now. So one is the IPv4 loopback address, which is one nine, uh, sorry, 127.0.0.1. And the other one, we just added 192.168.1.5. Now, following uh, this step, the next thing we should do, we should test if our changes have taken place. So if I go DNS domain name and press enter, it should return sanuja.local. And if I uh, type host name, it should return mail.sanuja.local. Uh, and if I ping uh, mail.sanuja.local, it should return back with 192.168.1.5. Because I also put mail, if I ping mail, it should also return back with 192.168.1.5. Finally, let's modify the send mail files. Before we do that, we will inspect what we have inside uh, those folders. So if you go cd, etc, mail, if you go uh, ll, uh, uh, we'll go just ls. These are the files that has been installed by the SendMail program when we install that package. What we are interested in is the SendMail MC and the SendMail CF files. So before we edit anything, you need to understand in this folder, the .mc file is the one that we edit. The SendMail.cf file will be generated based on the information contained within the .mc file. Before I do anything, I'm gonna make a backup of both of these files. To make a backup, I'm gonna copy that file into a new file. So let's copy sendmail cf. and send mail MC. And if you go LS, now we see the backup files of each of these uh, files that we will be updating. I'm gonna postpone editing the send mail file one more time in order to test if the send mail will work as it is we have in this system. So the first thing we're gonna do, we will add a user. So I'm gonna call the user manager. Then I'm gonna add a password. And I'm gonna add another user. And I will call him shadow. So this way we will have two users we can use to test our send mail. So I'm gonna restart the send mail. So I system CTL restart send mail. 
And now uh, I will also check the status of SendMail just to make sure it is running. can see it's active next i'm going to send a text uh, based message uh, to test the system uh, using the echo function so to do that what we will do is type echo and we're going to go bunch of access this is just so that i can see that access right away uh, I made a mistake right here. And we're gonna pipe that into mail. And manager at mail dot change local. So you might get this error message saying that we need the mail package, and if you get that, uh, make sure you install that. So I had to do a little bit of troubleshooting uh, because it keeps coming back saying the mail command not found. Uh, so what we need to do after doing a quick Google search on CentOS 8, we need to install this thing called MailX. And for that, you go DNF, install MailX, and then press yes. And that should download the packages and install it for you so that you won't get that error message when you try to send uh, messages using SendMail internally. So once you have done that, you should be able to run the echo command and send mail internally to test the send mail service. So I'm gonna just do the test uh, that I try to do this one uh, with the bunch of access on it. Uh, to do that, um, as I mentioned before, um, the error came up is the echo bunch of access and test mail. And we're going to pipe into mail and it will go into manager at mail.sanuja.local. So that's our manager user that's going to get it. So we're going to press enter. And that should work. Now uh, let's check if the that mail that we just sent is there, that message. So to do that, we'll go ls. Wa spool. And mail. And we are looking at manager. Oh, sorry, uh, it shouldn't be LS, it should be more. So we can actually read the message. So it's more uh, was spool mail manager because manager is our user and when we press enter, there you go. You do have that mail that been sent through the send mail software and the package. So I enter that and, and at the beginning uh, right here. Uh, somewhere and then it got returned back and it, uh, you know uh, into that mailbox and let's send another message to that user and see if that actually works uh, so this time i'm going to just send uh, just canada 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 this is a test and it's to manager and if you check that was pool and you should see that message canada 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 test and then because I sent a couple of messages like that, it shows up uh, on your uh, in, in his mailbox. Um, so you can also test another user. So instead of sending to Manuja, let's send it to Shadow. And this time I will just simply say, hi from admin. And if you press enter, and then this time we're going to look at the shadows folder. And it should be there. Oh, sorry. D -O -W -A. It's going to take a while, I guess. There you go. It's there. It says hi from admin. So this proves that we can actually send mail within our Linux server between users using send mail. This is perfect. Now we know that the send mail component is currently working. One more thing I would like to point out is that it has all the data uh, that you typically see on a uh, mail. Uh, for example, it has uh, where it's received from 
and it shows who it is from in this case root user because I'm logged in as a root user right here and it is being sent to uh, that particular mailbox so this is uh, showing that the system is working as it should be and remember at this point the terminal this terminal is acting as the MUA MUA is the mail user agent uh, MUA is a client application that allow receiving and sending mails uh, like email or messages uh, so it can be a desktop, a desktop application such as Microsoft Outlook or Thunderbird or it could be a web-based application such as Gmail or Hotmail uh, but again at this point the MUA which is the mail user agent is basically this terminal so far we can send mail within the Linux server but we need a little bit of more configurations to be done in order for it to accept mail from outside and send mail outside this system. This is where we will use the DNS server from our Windows Server 2019, which I have previously installed. But as I mentioned before, you can use any DNS server, but I decided to use the one that I already have, but you do not need to uh, that to be domain join or anything like that. So all you need to remember is that you need to know the host name and the IP address of your Linux server so that we can configure the DNS on the DNS server side. To check your host name, you can simply type host name. Remember, that's the host name we just changed previously. And to find your IP address, if you are using DSCP for whatever the reason, you can go IP, IF config. I don't recommend using DSCP because this is a mail service. Uh, it's a server. So I have static IP at 192.168.1.5. And because this is an internal network that I'm going to use in this particular setup, uh, what I have also done is I will, I have pointed my uh, the DNS uh, back to my DNS server which is 192.168.1.3 so let's go and uh, set up our DNS records uh, on our DNS server in my situation it will be our Windows server on my Windows server I'm going to open server manager and I'm going to tools and open DNS it will open the DNS manager in this situation, I'm using my previous Windows server that has already been domain promoted and I have it uh, in sanuja.local domain. But you do not need to have a server that is domain promoted to run your DNS. You can have any server without the domain promotion to run the DNS. Now, because my situation, I all, I'm using my previous server with the domo domain promotion. If I go to my DNS manager, and if you expand the forward lookup zone, I will see my sanuja.local domain. If you have a machine without the domo domain promotion, what you need to do is you need to select your main server, right click, select new zone click next select the primary zone click next and choose uh, this default option and click next select forward lookup zone click next and name your forward lookup zone and follow the instructions to create this new forward lookup zone that way you will have an option a place to add your DNS record for your Linux uh, mail service. So in this situation, I'm simply going to use a machine, a Windows server that already been domain promoted. So I'm just going to simply going to click on sanuja.local. And once you're on the DNS manager and you're in the forward lookup zone um, on here, on the, on the blank space, you need to uh, right click and select new host A or COD A record. And we're gonna add our Linux uh, mail server. 
So in my situation, if we go back to our Linux server, my hostname is mail.sanuja.local and my IP address is 192.168.1.5 for this Linux server. So on the Windows new host record, I'm going to type mail and I'm going to give the IP address 192.168.1.5 which is our Linux server and on FQDN, the fully qualified domain name, it'll show that mail.sanuja.local as the option for that server and click add host and that should add a host record with pointing to the Linux uh, server. Now this is a, a record. So when a system requests mail.sanuja.local, it will reply back with the IP address of the server 192.168.1.5. But if a system asks for what is the mail server for sanuja.local domain, we need to have a MX record to reply back showing where this uh, mail server is located. To do that, we need to add a mail exchange record. On your DNS manager, right click, select new mail exchanger or MX record. Leave the host or child domain blank and under fully qualified domain name or FQDN, click browse, select your server, open your domain or your forward lookup zone and select the one that it says mail, the one we just added, pointing to our Linux uh, mail server and click OK. And it is pretty simple. So it will have mail.sanuja.local as the FQDN and then click OK. Now you have an exchange record which is pointing to the mail.sanuja.local domain. And you have also a mail um, server IP address information record with a A record, which is pointing to 192.168.1.5. Now this DNS will respond to both the mail service IP address request and the mail service location request. Finally, we will go back to our Linux server and start editing the send mail uh, configurations. So on your Linux server, I'm gonna open the send mail uh, file. So if I go LL, you can see that we are in the mail folder and we have the send mail .mc file right here. So that's the one we're gonna edit. I will be using nano. So nano sendmail.mc and it will open the sendmail file. So in this sendmail.mc, uh, we're gonna make a couple of edits. Uh, one of them is we're gonna change the loopback address currently uh, which this particular file is pointing to. So if you go down, you will see that under this particular option, we have SMTP and it is only listening to the loopback address for IPv4, which is 127.0.01. So we don't want that. We want this uh, system, this send mail program to listen to all the ports available. So we're gonna simply delete that. And the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna set the local domain to sanuja.local. So if you go down, you will see the option called the local domain. So let's see where it is, uh, right here says local domain. So currently local domain is set to local host.local domain 
but we're going to change that to our local domain which is going to be sanuja.local so this will make the send mail listen and accept mail from sanuja.local domain now what we're going to do we're going to save this file and exit it and then we're going to run the the make, the make command so that it will generate the other file the the cf file using the information in send mail in fact if you go back to the send mail uh, you can see uh, at the top it will tell you to run the etc mail make uh, file and by performing that task it will use the information in here to generate the .mc file so let's go ahead and do that uh, so we are not going to save this one now <clears throat> okay so just type etc mail forward slash make so you'll get a warning message saying the send mail.mc is modified and then you might get this message as well please install package send mail cs to update your configuration if you get that message make sure that you do run um, the update on that and that will fix that particular error message so uh, once uh, the send mail class CS CF has been installed uh, you can rerun uh, that command now there are no error messages we know it worked that is perfect finally we need dowcot remember that package that we installed earlier uh, in this video so dowcot is the mda mail delivery agent uh, if you want to know a little bit of more information about mda you can go to the beginning of this video and i explain what it is so dowcot has already been installed because we um, installed that package earlier uh, we now going to go into the dowcot folder and start editing some file so to go to the uh, dowcot folder uh, we will go cd etc dowcot and if you look at the files we have you will see only two files which is conf.d and dowcot.conf so what we're going to do we will edit this file dowcot.conf as always make sure before you edit or do anything we will make a backup copy of this file so we're going to do cp dowcot.conf and there you go and now we have a backup file of that fi uh, the dowcot conf file that we will be editing next we will make the edit uh, for that uh, in, inside that file so i'll be using nano you can use any editor you like and in this file the first thing we're going to do we're going to make the protocol active the protocols that we would like to use so we will be using uh, pretty much uh, the imap uh, but i'm just going to leave the other uh, protocols here as well it is currently commented out so i'm going to uncomment it making it active next we need to tell dowcot to accept plain text authentication to do that we need to add another uh, line uh, so that the configuration knows to accept it 
so uh, what we'll do uh, is we will add uh, disable underscore plain text underscore auth and this should be equal to no oh uh, sorry that's it so it's disable plain text auth no now the next step is to add a line telling where our mailboxes are located so that the DAO code knows where to place the mail once it no, uh, uh, figure uh, once it retrieve the data to do that uh, I'm simply going to go to the bottom of this file and I'm going to add the mail location. It's going to be mail underscore location equal to mbox and it is in mail inbox under var spool remember our last spool folder under mail folder and with the present u it is we are telling the system that it's the you find the user folder so that's what the present u is doing so remember our, our mailboxes for send mail is located under var spool mail folder but by putting present u it is telling that it indicates that the username associated with that each mail user should be put it under each mail user's folder. Now exit this uh, file uh, and make sure you save it. Then restart send mail and DAO card. So no error messages appear, nothing, no complaints. That's perfect. So our edit must be working. Now to test uh, our mail system again, I'm gonna send another message uh, using echo to our shadow user. You can use to send it to any user you like. So I'm gonna send it to the user called shadow. So let's try sanuja.local. So then we need to check if this user uh, can, uh, you know, see the mail, if this, the user have received the mail. There you go. The user have received the mail this is the final test and it was sent from mail.sanuja.local server and it was sent by shadow to shadow at sanuja.local so yeah the mail server has the 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 location as mail.sanuja.local but the actual email doesn't need to have that mail.sanuja.local part they can basically go with uh, uh, at sanuja.local so it's still working perfect next step is to making sure that the folders within this mail section have the correct permission so if you go ll you can see these folders manuja sanuja shadow all these folders but however the only the owner and the mail have the access to the these folders read write and execute functions so you have a couple of way of giving permission to DAO card. The proper, correct way to do it is to create a group 
and give permission to group and that then add this uh, mail uh, folder into those groups. But for now, what we're gonna do, we're just gonna chmod uh, to change all the permission to full permission so that DAO caught mail and everybody can read, write and execute. So to do that, I'm gonna go chmod. 777 star enter now if i go ll now everything is green now you can see on here the read write permissions everybody have full read write execute permission this is not a good security measure this is just in the lab environment if you just want to test your dao court and send mail this is how you do it so this will now have the read write execute uh, per, uh, permission for both send mail and DAO card. Finally, now we have the send mail working and the mail server is running on the Linux system. We can go to an end client and see if we can access the mail from there. For this demonstration, I'll be using Windows 11. So let's log in and go ahead. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make sure this is in the same network and you can see uh, the uh, server. To do that, I'm simply going to go to control panel and under network, network and sharing center. And because we are in a lab environment, I have two network cards. So the second one is an internal LAN segment network card. I'm gonna go to that one. I'm gonna go to properties, I'm gonna go to IPv4, under DNS setting, I'm gonna put 192.168.1.3, which is the same one. And I'm gonna also statically assign an IP address, which is 192.168.1. I'm just gonna put 10, it doesn't really matter. 255.255.255, and the default gateway gonna be the same one, 192.168.1.3, which is our server which is the dns server so these configurations uh, is different from e each setup like different from setup to setup uh, so do it accordingly but in my setup what we have is i have a windows server and i have things going in here and then the windows server is handling the dns and the windows server ip address is 192.168.1.3 and i have a desktop computer with two network cards, one is going to the outside the internet and the other one is internal. And the internal one, I'm giving a static IP address in the same subnet and I'm pointing it back at into the, um, the DNS server. So it can see these records that we made in the Windows server. And finally, uh, so they click OK and close these options. And again, because we are in a lab environment, I'm going to also add a DNS record for this Windows 11 computer uh, in the Windows Server 2019. So we'll just go back to the DNS manager, right click on a bank space, add an A record, and it is Win11 Pro X64 underscore one. And the IP address that we assigned statically is, remember, is the one that, uh, the internal one, uh, that's this one. And if you go to properties, uh, remember, I gave the IP address of 10. So I will add that record in here, saying 192.168.1.10, and then click add host. Again, this last part of this uh, video, uh, these are specific to my lab environment, but you can modify based on what I'm doing here. Uh, and it will give you at least a basic idea of what needs needed to be done in order to get this send mail to work. So now, to recap, we have two Ethernet cards, one going to out to the, in, the other one internal, but you don't need to, you only need just one Ethernet card. I have set up both Ethernet um, properties under IPv4 on my Windows 11 client, pointing back at to the 
Windows Server because that's our DNS server. And I'll make sure that our IPv4 uh, configuration in here, the 1.10 is added to our Windows Server that contain our DNS records for our Linux uh, mail server. So one more thing we're gonna do is to check uh, if there's connectivity to our server. So I'm gonna ping 192.168.1.3. That's our uh, Windows server. So as you can see, ping is perfectly working. So the next thing we're gonna do is to uh, go and um, enter uh, the credentials to access the mail service. So to do that, we'll go in here and we'll open up the default Windows Mail. And we're gonna go to Accounts and we're gonna add an account. And we're gonna select the option called Advanced Setup and pick the option called Internet Email, POP or IMAP. And let's go with uh, Manager. So it's gonna be, uh, sorry, it's gonna be Manager at manager.local. So username gonna be Manager and the password is uh, whatever the password you entered uh, when you created that account. And the account name, I'm gonna go Manuja uh, Senanaika. And we're gonna send mail by the same name. And the incoming server gonna be the same server. So it's mail.sanuja.local. And the account type gonna be IMAP4. And the outgoing mail is the exact same one as I mentioned before, it's gonna be mail.sanuja.local. And we're gonna check off uh, any of these items. So we don't need any of the, we don't have security certificates or SSL. So we're gonna turn them all off and make sure all the information is correct and click sign in. And once you sign in, it will log into the server, the mail server. And in a few moments, you will start receiving the mail and you will get a security uh, message warning. So, um, and if you get that pop-up, make sure you click OK, and then you'll have access to your mail. And that's everything. And have a nice day.